what's happening guys hope you're having a wonderful day this is bitcoin max from the bitcoin maxi channel today i'm going to talk about terra node so apparently terra node is coming this month and hopefully it does man because i'm broke as a joke <laughs> i don't know about you guys but i'm looking for a thousand dollars by the time this lawsuit gets wrapped up so one of the good things about terra node is it will ramp up the transactions something that's happened recently that i've noticed is we've gone from about 80 percent of the transactions down to 20 percent of the transactions which means whoever had those up higher transactions had to turn the transactions down because if the transactions were still that high it would lead to the collapse of btc before they want to actually collapse it so we've got still about 90 days to the btc having and that's when craig says he's gonna dump his bags but then also at the same time We've got the Terra node uh, allegedly going live this month. I think it might not go live this month and they'll use that as a shakeout event or at least in other projects, that's how the team would usually operate. They'd tell you you're gonna get something and then you don't get it for months. So that's how these other teams operate. I don't know if that's what they're gonna do and use it as a shakeout opportunity. Uh, but they could, and they could actually launch it in February. Um, but yeah, all th all that it takes for BSV to become more uh, profitable on the on the mining is to ramp up these transactions again. But where we had the transactions before is nowhere near the Terra node. So if you go here, daily average Bitcoin transactions per block by network. So as you can see, it was up at. Uh, 100k transactions per day this was just a few when does that say uh, yeah so like even the beginning of the month it was up um much 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 higher so we're only we're like less than 5k transactions a day so we've dropped like 90 percent of the transactions and as you can see it goes it goes uh, crash impulse crash impulse crash impulse crash impulse crash so next time this gets turned up will allegedly be the terra node and so at the top we've got 1 million transactions per day but they're talking 1 million transactions per second so it wouldn't just be it wouldn't just be a little bit more profitable for the mining it would be exponentially more profitable and it would lead to the collapse of btc so they're saying this is going to happen this month potentially next month i don't think they're going to say they're going to do something huge like this and then and then wait more than a few a, a month even one month uh after when they said they were going to do it so let's read this article it's time for the bsv blockchain to start taking on giants like visa and mastercard the Terra Node development team today announced the new design features that will give a major boost to the network's efficiency and speed, pushing BSV's capabilities to a million transactions per second and far beyond. So this would um, this would be off the charts. So a million per second, so that's 60 million per minute. So it would be doing 60 million per minute. It would be doing more in one minute than it used to do in a day back when it was competing and you know more profitable in the mining so it's just going to absolutely explode whenever this goes live boom like btc will collapse most likely the same day or the same week but i'm suspecting like most of the selling will take place in a day or two the announcements from protocol custodian bsv blockchain association reveal a more service-oriented approach to the way the network works. The new features include modularized functions like transaction and block validation and block assembly and services that only run when required. Additionally, individually transactions will each block in each block will be segmented into subtree batches of transactions that can be shared to run the network for nodes to inspect, even while the block is still being mined. Terra nodes due to, due to begin a six-month Sustained test this month is a major upgrade for the Bitcoin node software. It's a ground up rewrite of BSV blockchain architecture designed to scale horizontally 
and provide new microservices for developers, applications, and users while still following all the fundamental rules that Satoshi set for Bitcoin 15 years ago. The Terra node upgrade is critical for the BSV blockchain to scale unboundedly and become even faster and cheaper for everyone to use. There is little, if any, competition to equal Terra node in the wider blockchain world. Yet this is because everyone who's in blockchain just waits to see what Craig does and then copies them, literally copies and pastes the code. Because Craig's the leader, he's the innovator, he's the one that knows what's going on. He created the space, so everyone else is just sitting and waiting and seeing what he does and how they can implement it onto their chains afterwards. The Bitcoin protocol has proven its reliability now for 15 years, and Terranode allows it to challenge not only the world's major payment networks, but the entire internet and a rapidly expanding digital economy. Terranode microservices and subtrees share BSV's workaround. The true beauty of these modularized services and transaction subtrees is their ability to work together. Machines on the network can perform different tasks concurrently rather than in a series of steps. This horizontal approach to scaling means the larger the network grows, i.e. more hashing power applied to the processing data, the more efficient it becomes. So instead of like BTC, where as the price increases, as the hash power increases, um, it becomes more expensive, they're saying that the more people use the network, the actually the more efficient it becomes. There are at least 14 microservices in Terranode that each handle different network and validation functions. The list includes node services like propagation and transaction validation, block assembly and block validation. Overlay services include the legacy P2P network bridge appear service, UTXO lookup service, ban lists and transaction submission. A message broker takes care of communication between the services and a TX status store extracts the status of transactions within the system. Obviously, this is over my head. Terranode's new architecture means if one service comes under a heavy load, transaction processors can apply additional computing resources to support that particular service separate to any other services running on the same node. Transaction propagation service, transaction validator, block assembly service, Minor, yeah, so it's going through all the different what's going on. Subtrees mean transactions can be pre approved, making validation much quicker and closer to real time, including only the TXID in a subtree batch is a lightweight approach that assumes network nodes already have the full transaction data once a transaction is created and broadcast. Nodes can confirm they're aware of all relevant transactions without needing to rebroadcast the same data repeatedly. Instead of waiting for a transaction to be approved 10 minutes after it's confirmed by the miners, senders and recipients can be confident and their transaction will clear within seconds. Instead of waiting for a transaction to be approved 10 minutes after it's confirmed by the miners, senders and recipients can be confident their transaction will clear in seconds. This is a huge improvement in speed. And so does that mean we'll not just get the transaction ID, but we'll actually get the confirmations earlier. That's what it seems like. This is a huge improvement in speed and security and addresses one of the key criticisms directed at Bitcoin and blockchain, that waiting for transaction validation makes the network too slow to function as a realistic payment system. So they've actually, it seems that they've brought down this um, waiting for 10 minutes and the transactions actually process and can get confirmations in seconds would be cool. Unbounded BSV is now the only answer for the digital economy. Unbounded BSV can scale to any size needed while maintaining speed and the lowest possible fees for using the network. This contrasts to the artificially limited network known as BTC, which limits transaction block sizes to one megabyte each. Despite media and social hype claiming BTC is money of the future, the network cannot actually be used as money since it can only process three to seven transactions per second in total. Yeah, so can you imagine trying to use this for eight billion people and, you know, do you buy something every day? Maybe not, but you definitely buy something every other day. So that means every day there's about four billion people trying to use this network, but it can only process three to seven transactions per second. So we would actually need to do the math and see 
how this adds up over time. But I'm sure you can see that it doesn't work because let's do five times six is 30. So about 30 transactions per minute times six is 1,800 per hour. So add, let's just times it by 20, about 36,000 36, transactions per day. It's simply not enough, like 36,000 compared to billions of people. And maybe I've even done the math wrong, maybe it's 360,000, but even then, it's just simply not enough to process those transactions. Even just one day with worldwide usage, there would be a waiting list of transactions for, for too long. So none of those transactions would even process. Like you'd be waiting in the shop for days to try and get them to have a confirmed transaction. This artificial limitation has created high fees and long waits because obviously people that want to get their transaction through faster will pay a higher fee instead of waiting a long time. So the more people using the network, the higher that fee is going to be to cut the line the same way you're cutting the line now. And we're talking 10 to $40 per transaction now with only a few people on the network. Absolutely crazy. This is this does not sound like Bitcoin to me. So we've got BTC compared to Terranode now. So it would have the standard transaction model, but Terranode adopts an extended format with extra metadata, improving processing efficiency. BTC doesn't use subtrees. Uh, Terranode does, a novel concept in Terranode serving as an intermediary for holding transaction IDs and their Merkle roots. Each subtree contains 1 million transactions. Subtrees are broadcast every second. Broadcast frequently for faster and continuous data propagation. Then we've got the blocks. Transactions are grouped into blocks. Direct transaction data is stored in the block. Each block is linked to the previous one in a cryptographic hash, forming a secure chronological chain. BSV is changing to differ from the traditional Bitcoin blocks by containing subtree identifiers instead of direct transaction data, streamlining validation processes. So I think these subtrees are what's helping to process these transactions and confirm these transactions before it's actually picked up in this traditional Bitcoin 10 minute block. So then we've got the block size uh, capped at one megabyte on BTC, restricting the transactions per block. And we've got BSV expands to four gigabytes right now. Increasing transaction capacity, Terranode removes the size limit, enabling limitless transactions per block. So right now, it expands to four gigabytes, but Terranode will expand it to limitless transactions per block, which is cool. That means you can upload like movies and stuff onto the blockchain. Because right now, if it's only four gigabytes, you could only upload uh, something four gigabytes and under. Then we've got the process transactions per second. We've got 3.3 to 7 transactions per second on BTC. And then we've got guaranteed a minimum of 1 million transactions per second, which is 100,000 times faster than BTC. Which means we can finally start onboarding people onto this system because what the reason why they're not wanting to buy now is because it's not fulfilling what Bitcoin was even designed to do. So if you're going to if you're going to replace the dollar, if you're going to have an alternative to the dollar or your local fiat currency, it needs to actually be better than the local fiat currency. And BTC is not better than the local fiat currency. But when people realize what Bitcoin really is and what Bitcoin can really do, and then compare that to their local fiat currency, you can see the massive difference. So yeah, they're talking unbounded scaling unbounded no bounds no limits which is crazy and i can't wait to see this operating um and it will no doubt make the early believers and investors very wealthy when this all goes live and collapses btc and all that money is going to need to move somewhere and yeah a lot of it will move into the dollar and and into people's local fiat 
but why did they invest in BTC in the first place? They invested in BTC in the first place because of what Bitcoin was promising. So they might look to find a solution that's fulfilling those original promises. I'm the Bitcoin Max from the Bitcoin Max channel. Love you guys. See you guys next time.